I think Lucky has wool block again. He's eaten much food and water, and he hasn't touched any of his treats or hay. So I'm gonna give him some pineapple juice, five milliliters tonight, or at least once tonight, maybe twice tonight, and then a bunch tomorrow morning. Um, if he does have it, then that'll cure him, and if he doesn't, it's a good prevention, so let's do that now. I have the stool I'm going to sit on, my pineapple juice, and my syringe. It's five milliliters. Um, sorry about the lighting, it is very dark, so I'm using a headlamp. Okay, so basically I'm going to force feed him um, pineapple juice like I would bottle feed a newborn baby kit if I was you know bottle feeding it so basically flip him over pinching his um, his ears between my legs so all we're gonna do is stick the syringe in his mouth and they can drink it Good boy! Oh, good job. Pineapple juice is a very good way to remedy wool block. It gets our digestive system moving. Um, it will lubricate any wool that's blocked up in your stomach. And it's just liquid. So the liquid part of it will just, you know, lubricate stuff. But pineapple juice itself, like the special pineapple properties, sort of helps digest too. So this will hopefully help just push all the wool out of there. And. So I might do this once more tonight in another half hour. So so in the morning, I'm going to do every half hour 5 milliliters of pineapple juice for an adult rabbit, Angora. So that is what I'm going to do and hope that he has, does a good job. He got through it last time and hoping he gets through it this time again. It is now the next morning. I came in to check on Lucky and give him some more pineapple juice, but there is poop on his resting mat and he's eaten all of his treats and some of his food and lots of water. I don't know if he had wool block or he was just, I don't know, sad that he wasn't in a colony anymore. I don't know what it was, but I'm glad I prevented whatever it was. And he eats a ton of treats now. Let me show you. What I've learned from this experience is that if your rabbit's acting strangely and you think they might have a block, just go ahead and treat them. Um, you know, it's better that they get a little more pineapple juice than they need and they're not having problems than you don't. Then you don't know if they have a block or not, so you wait a couple days to see how things go and then they get really bad and they end up passing away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm glad it ended happily. Please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos about angoras and other rabbits and other awesome homesteady stuff. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.